Tonight, the death toll from Hurricane Irma stands at 22. The now Category 4 storm left lots of damage behind in the Virgin Islands. Right now, Florida residents are preparing for the massive storm. Tonight, Vanderbilt University Medical Center crews are ready to assist. News Channel 5's Kimberly Davis explains how crews are already en route right now. Kimberly. Vicki, that two person crew left earlier today. We're told they're expected to be there between eight and 14 days. And according to Vanderbilt University Medical Center officials, they tell us the rules that they would normally follow are now off the table when it comes to saving lives. You can't really understand the devastation that happens until you've actually lived through it. Living through disaster and helping those who need it most. Well, the crews can be exposed to everything, uh, literally across the board. This is a disaster situation, so a lot of the normal rules that we play by are sort of off the table. Kevin Mooner is a program director at Vanderbilt University Medical Center with Life Light, someone who is used to answering the call for help. Yesterday, the State Department of Emergency Medical Services called the medical center to request an activation of a strike team. Now a two-person crew is on their way to help in Florida. We do have crew members that are going in a ground ambulance, um, and we have assisted with moving some patients using our airplane over the past couple of days. So far, Life Flight helicopters have not been requested to assist in Florida, but officials say, depending on the devastation, they could be requested. Typically, in, in previous requests that we have had, we have sent one to two helicopters. Um, it's, this one may be a little bit more unique because when you look at the path of the hurricane, we also have to consider being able to cover your service area in the next couple of days. As officials work out the logistics here in Nashville, first responders are working to keep our nearby neighbors out of harm's way. We feel like this is an opportunity for us to, to really open our doors and open our hearts to these people that are going through these type of emergencies. This is a disaster situation. It's a situation that no one is really ever prepared for, even then when we have notice. A search and rescue team made up of nurses and doctors is also on standby in case they are needed to search for bodies in Florida. For now, we are live in front of Vanderbilt University Medical Center. I'm Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5. Kimberly, thanks. And we've got crews in Florida coming up at 630. Dan Kennedy explains how gasoline has become a hot commodity in the Sunshine State.